Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Since the Meng Wanzhou incident in 2018 attracted widespread attention, everyone has known about the fierce competition between China and the United States in the chip field. However, this competition is not a matter of one day or one night. Long before the Meng Wanzhou incident, various restrictions on chip research and development had already existed quietly, but it did not attract enough attention from the public at that time. Back then, once the United States took action, many countries followed suit and set limits on China's chip exports. But it should be noted that China is an important importer in the world. For countries around the world, losing China as a buyer will undoubtedly bring huge losses and heartache. Recently, Ji Zhang announced a major decision to invest 5 billion yuan to build an advanced lithography machine factory. As soon as this news came out, online public opinion boiled. Some people were excited and believed that China's chip industry was about to rise, others remained rational and believed that the road ahead was long and full of challenges. Have you ever had this experience, when watching videos or playing games, your mobile phone suddenly becomes stuck and responds as slowly as a snail? This is mostly because the small chip in the mobile phone is not powerful enough. Although it is small in size, it plays a vital role and determines whether the mobile phone runs smoothly. For a long time, China has relied on imports for high-end chips and has been unable to produce them independently, which undoubtedly puts China in a passive position. Now, Ji Zhang's huge investment is precisely to break this situation and allow China to use domestic chips with excellent performance. However, there are challenges and difficulties on this road. ASML is well aware of the importance of lithography technology, so it has used various means to try to hinder China from making significant progress in this field. They once arrogantly believed that China could not manufacture high-end lithography machines and were even unwilling to sell advanced equipment to China. However, with the rapid progress of China's science and technology, ASML's attitude has gradually changed. They no longer despise China, but take more covert means to try to delay China's pace of independent research and development. They proposed cooperation and were willing to sell less advanced lithography machines to China at a high price. This seems to be helping China, but in fact it hides the intention of restricting China's technological development. In addition to continuous technological innovation and breakthroughs, the progress of the chip industry also requires China to have an open mind and a spirit of willingness to work together. This investment action in Zhejiang has brought inspiration to other places and enterprises across the country. Today, the country attaches more and more importance to the development of the chip field. Local governments have responded positively and introduced a series of support policies to help the chip industry flourish. Shanghai, Beijing, Hefei and other cities are ambitious to become leaders in the integrated circuit industry and have successfully attracted many domestic and foreign chip companies to settle down. This is because everyone has seen that the United States has imposed unprecedented restrictions on China in the cutting-edge chip industry, and China urgently needs equipment such as lithography machines when manufacturing high-end chips. In order to get rid of the restrictions of the United States in this field, Ji Zhang decided to invest 5 billion yuan to build a lithography machine factory, which is a crucial move. The advancement of lithography machine technology is of great significance to improving the strength of China's lithography machines and will promote domestic lithography machines to a higher level. Now ASML is also surprised, why can China become stronger and stronger? However, why did China's previous lithography machine technology rely so much on the United States? The main reason is that China's own lithography machines are not popular in the market. Although China has also worked hard to develop a variety of lithography machine technologies, market acceptance has always been limited. On the road to domestically produced chips, 
China must not only overcome technical difficulties, but also solve the big problem of talent shortage. The professional threshold of the chip industry is extremely high, and top talents are scarce. Some netizens said that the talent war in the chip circle is extremely fierce now. Companies are willing to spend a lot of money to dig people, but the real masters are still in short supply. Faced with these difficulties, will China choose to retreat or move forward? The answer is obvious. Some netizens said that chips are like rice in the information age. China cannot always expect others to serve China, but to grow rice by itself, make the domestic chip industry bigger and stronger, and firmly grasp it in its own hands. Fortunately, the country has also realized this. In recent years, the country has introduced a series of preferential policies to cheer for the chip industry, encourage enterprises to increase R&D investment, and attract outstanding overseas talents to return to China for common development. All parts of the country have also actively responded to the call and established chip industrial parks, hoping to connect the entire industrial chain and promote the vigorous development of the industry. Although the chip industry has large investments, slow results, and considerable risks, it is undoubtedly a treasure land with unlimited potential. With the strong support of the country, I believe that more and more companies and talented people will join the wave of chip research and development with confidence. When it comes to the research and development of lithography machines, this is indeed a project that requires huge investment and complex processes, and it requires breaking through many technical difficulties. 5 billion yuan sounds like a large number, but it is not much in the field of lithography machine research and development. The development of lithography machines needs to be gradual and cannot be rushed. What China needs to do now is to maintain a steady mentality and solid steps and advance step by step. In fact, China is not starting from scratch in the field of lithography machines. Decades ago, China has begun to study this technology and has achieved certain results. What China needs to understand is that China's chip industry still faces many challenges, technology needs to be continuously accumulated, and talents need to be continuously cultivated. I believe that with the joint efforts of the people across the country, China's chip will become a reality. This time, Zhejiang invested 5 billion yuan to build a lithography machine factory. With the strong support of national policies and the concerted efforts of all walks of life, the future of domestic chips will definitely become brighter and brighter. Making chips is like building blocks. It starts with pieces of material, and then goes on to the exquisite design and fine manufacturing of various professional equipment. Each link is indispensable. In order to build the blocks high and stable, it is necessary to closely connect the upstream and downstream of the industrial chain, so that China's chips can truly be self-controlled and not restricted by outsiders. What do you think about lithography machines? Welcome to discuss in the comment area.